Welcome to Tabletop Ready, my name's Michael and I'm going to show you in this video how to quickly and easily paint your orc boys. I'm going to show you step by step using Citadel products, the techniques and fundamentals to get your orcs on the tabletop. When it comes to painting miniatures quickly, I want to try and get away from this idea that it's all about speed and painting things as fast as you can. I also think people are eager to avoid doing time consuming techniques like highlighting and building up layers. Here's an orc boy I just tried to paint as quickly as I could and although it's now painted it doesn't look very exciting. Instead I want to show you how using the basics and fundamentals not only makes you a better painter but you can also use them to find ways to cheat and reduce the amount of steps needed to get your miniatures painted quickly. Here on Tabletop Ready I'm passionate about showing you how to become a better painter and giving you the confidence and knowledge to go away and paint miniatures the way you want to but sometimes people just want a quick and easy method to getting their miniatures finished. So I want to show you how you can go about doing that as well. For this tutorial I've fully assembled all the orc boys so we can concentrate on getting them painted quickly rather than having lots of separate parts which would take us longer to paint. I've also undercoated the orc boys using a bad and black spray which is going to allow us to get away with a lot more than if we used a lighter colour such as grey or white. Let's start painting and the first thing we're going to do is a dry brush all over using Rhinox Hide. First work the paint into the bristles and then remove most of the paint using some kitchen paper. And when dry brushing you want to keep your brush moving pretty quickly against the details. What's happening is the paint is being deposited right on the edges and raised areas and is not being allowed to get into any of the shallower details. We're starting with the dry brush because it's a very easy way to start getting some paint on our orcs. It not only brings out the details, making them easier to see, but it kind of replaces the need to paint multiple layers of our other base colours as it acts as your first layer. So take your time, it's better to build this up slowly. The idea behind painting miniatures is to creatively represent something that could exist, and to mimic how it may interact with light. And the best way to do this is to artificially create shadows and highlights, which is going to bring out all the details and features of your miniatures. With that said, the actual colours you choose to paint your orc boys is completely up to you. But what you want to make sure of is that the colours you do choose are from the base set of paints. The base paints differ from layer paints because they contain more pigment, which means you can get a strong colour without having to paint multiple layers. Once you're finished with a dry brush, you want to work on painting details like boots, belts and clothing using your chosen colours. You do want to try and be as neat as you can, but it's not super important but you should find it easier to get the colours down now you've done the dry brush stage. The next thing we're going to get painted is the orc skin and again you can choose whichever green you want to. For my own orc boys I'm going to be using my own custom orc skin mix. You may have seen me use this in other tutorials on the channel. My orc skin mix is created using one part Avalon Sunset to two parts Death Guard Green. With the skin, you want to make sure you get a good solid colour all over and when you're painting it's better to thin your paints first and I find an equal amount of water does the trick. Make sure to keep your brush moving and try not to go over any areas you've already painted as you can create unwanted texture with your brush whilst the paint is drying. I also like to paint in multiple thin layers so we don't lose any detail on the miniatures. So make sure to let that layer dry and repeat the process until you have a nice solid colour which we can work from. I wasn't worried about painting over teeth, tongues and eyes as these were the next details to be painted. Any tongues can be painted using Bugman's Glow. Next, paint the eyes using Mephiston Red. And finally, more gas bone on any teeth and wraps. Now that we have most of our colours painted, we want to start creating some definition and I want to start with some highlights and the quickest way to do that is with another dry brush. The colour I'm using is Yushabdi Bone because it's a great overall highlight colour for everything as it's more subtle. I'm dry brushing the entire miniature again making sure I've removed as much paint as I could this time and building it up slowly until I'm happy with how it looks. Hopefully you can see the difference it's made to help him bring out all the details on our orc boys. We can now get all the metals painted. I've waited until after the dry brush of Yushabdi Bone because dry brushing is messy and I didn't want to get it on any metals we may have already painted. I'm using lead belcher on all the weapons and armour and then some retributor gold for any bullets. 
Our rock boy is now ready for a wash and what the wash is going to do is to help give the miniatures depth and shade the shallow details. The wash I'm going to use is made with an equal mix of Agrax Earth Shade and Lamy Medium. The Lamy Medium is going to weaken the strength of the shade so it doesn't dull down the colours we've already painted, but it's still going to do its job of sitting in the details to create that definition we're after. You want to use enough of the wash to cover the miniature comfortably, because we don't want it to pull up too much in areas. If it does, you can just use your brush to remove the excess you don't want and then let the wash fully dry before doing anything else. You can see the wash has done its job and it's given us that depth, but also character as it could give the impression of oil and grime on our Orc Boys. You could call the Orc Boys finished, but I would like to go over the colours you could use to represent some of the Orc Clans before I finish. For Goths I would use Abaddon Black, Mephiston Red and some Korax White in places. For Evil Suns you can use Mephiston Red and Avalon Sunset. If you want to paint some bad moons, I recommend Avalon Sunset and Abaddon Black in places. The Death Skulls can be represented using both McCrag Blue and Corax White. Those are just some examples. I wanted to show you that you can finish your Orc Boys by painting some of their armour and weapons with different colours to represent any clan of your choice. I hope I've been able to give you the confidence and knowledge to go away and get your own Orc Boys painted however you want. I do have a more in-depth tutorial on painting the Orc Clans, so make sure to go check that out as well. Thank you for watching, I hope you find this tutorial useful and enjoyable. If you did, please leave a like and let me know in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe as well if you don't want to miss out on future content, and I'll see you in the next video.